Hello, AGRs. Welcome to my brand new, hopefully better quality channel. You want to know what I just did? I'm going to break the time. I uh, bought myself a GoPro. It's not a that fancy of a one. It's an old four. But what I am realizing is they have... It's pretty uh, unbelievable. You can change can't do it now but if I would show you you could pull uh, the thing is it still has all the connectivity connecting to the Wi-Fi or whatever you need to do it actually has its own Wi-Fi well you can actually have the camera off and its Wi-Fi will still be on and you could check all of its settings you can check what battery it's at you can check how long your uh, how full your storage is you can check your video you can delete it right from here you don't need the camera for say the camera has all those options by itself but everything about it it's pretty cool and I want to record on it and show you what it is I know it's very wide I mean, you can see absolutely everything and how trashed my room is. Yeah, it's nearly 180 degrees, but this is for 4K video. Now, it says it's 4K, and I'm hoping it's not lying to me. So, but it does. You can change the settings down, I think, all the way to 720, but it has, like, a crazy amount of options where it's, like, 720 super view, and I think that's extra wide, but on 4K, you do not have the option to make it narrow, I know I noticed on 1080p uh, you could change uh, change it to super wide wide uh, narrow and then very linear which I think is probably pretty much upright which I thought was absolutely amazing but the thing is that you can only that you can't do it for 4k and I wonder if that's because you have to max out the entire camera to use all of the well 4k I don't know I'm not a camera expert myself but I have if I didn't already lose it. Did I really lose it? I did uh, buy myself a case, a complete waterproof case, and then a. Well, I got the cat waterproof case. I did not get an extra battery. I'm praying that this battery is actually really good. And what I do know is you can charge this thing while it's recording, which is. Great. Well, the least, well, if it really bothers me, I can just take a rubber band, put it on the case, and then attach a battery pack to it, a little one, which is, that, that'll give you tons more juice. Plus, the thing is, you turn off, you can turn off the screen with a button on the back, or by having it just set up to record, it'll turn off after a while, I believe. And I think it's off right now. I could certainly check. Yeah, it's off right now. The thing is also, uh, it does have loss mode where it beeps and then all the lights flash, which it has one on the front, the back, and the top. I don't think there's anything on the bottom, but it's pretty good for everything. They are pretty bright uh, red lights. And I think, and it'll blink really fast, I believe. But you know, and it does let you know it's recording because all the lights blink, which is okay. Now I th you think it's a waste of battery, but I know you can change the LED blinking to different things like four blinks a second, one blink a second. I think I have it set to the average, uh, which is like a cool, uh, solid blink uh, every two seconds, I think is what it was. But you can set up to four if you really want flashing. I don't know why, but I think it's for lost mode, which is really creative. But I did decide it does have a little screen on the front, which isn't, L uh, which isn't the LCD, so it's not going to use up a ton of battery, but it has tons of options on it. It tells you what's on the back. Like if you have up the menu, it tells you where you are. Now, I'm not sure why. I don't think it's really any practical use, but I think it's just to mimic it so you, anybody can like see exactly what you're doing for sure or something. I don't know. But when recording though, I do, you can see, it says I've been recording for three minutes and 53 seconds right now. It'll let me know that what mode I'm in, what, what I'm shooting, it says 4K, and then it'll, next to it has a dash. And it says 15 frames a second, which is really weird because I'm coming from 4K. I don't know why. But you, you can go up to 60, I know that on a thousand which I think is what I usually keep it on because on a thousand you can keep it up to an hour and then you can also put up to 2.7k which lasts about 45 minutes and then it, uh, no it lasts about 50 minutes and then the 4k only lasts about 35 minutes which I thought was really cool I don't know how they optimize like that so and I, all I have is a 16 gig card in there which I think is a SanDisk SanDisk I'm not no it's not it's uh I don't know what it is. I can't remember. I'll probably put it in the link. Uh, not link. A link. Maybe I might put in the link to it to the where you can get one of these because I know I bought it from a store a while ago and it is awesome. It does hold. It is really optimized because I did have another SD card I put in here. It was eight, so half the st half the storage, but it only gave me two minutes, and I was trying all the different modes, which is really weird. But 
I decided I want to make a test video and see what the quality is. I know everything is trashed. <laughs> they get trashed. But it has this really wide view. And now if I can find, ah, the case for these. It's really weird because it's a sticker. I really wish I wanted, I want the one with, has a screw that you can stick into your helmet because it's a one-time use thing only. And there's no point having a waterproof case. But you can take it off with the screw. It does come off. So I can just stick this on, buy more of these little pads, which I know you can, uh, pretty much at any camera store, so any electronic store or any kind of place that have cameras. And then you can just take off your waterproof case and use that. But I do wish it didn't have the little two bars at the bottom. But the re I know the because it's only good to hold. But because I'm not a person, because I know usually they have, you could take off the bottom and they have the little two prongs where you could plug in um, tons of accessories, which I know they have like, um, we have like hang off to a wall or, well, I guess that'd be this too, but it has like, you can bend it all the way back. So you can pretty much use a security camera or anything like that. Because it does on your, because I already did show you, but on your phone you can see what the preview is. You can also, also on your phone, you can tag things, like in the moment, like this is an important moment. So when you go back, you can see it, which is really helpful. And this is for a four. I don't know what settings they put on, are they at the seven? I think, but they also do have the Hero Black Edition, which is just black. I don't know what else they put onto it, but there really isn't much else. Because honestly, every, the only thing that really matters is it's a 4K camera. The only thing else, uh, which is what it is, and then up to the 7, I'm sure they have that too. You can't get much really better than that. Honestly, your eyes are not going to know notice anything better. So I want to do a test run, see if it's any good. But I know it's been going on for 6 minutes, and well, actually almost 7 minutes now. But I just want to make a test video and show you that hopefully th this is the start of something. I, uh, the price of these things, though, I do want to mention first. So here, this is the Hero 4. The cost right now, I got it for about 96 bucks. I should have just said 100 But that came with this case and everything, too, and the one battery. And I did get the cord with it, uh, which it just uses a really weird uh, a USB to this weird type, which is not a micro USB. It's micro something. I don't remember what it's called. But they are weird. You can buy them at stores. They're just a lot harder to find. So that's it. It also has another plug on the side for... Oh, it also has a mini HD port. Uh, for I guess you can plug it directly into your TV. But that's kind of... I don't know. You can plug it into your phone. And how often do you, things, do you show things to your friends on your TV anymore? I don't find it that necessary. But it is cool to have. But I don't even have an HDMI. Mini HDMI cord. But I'm definitely not going to go buy one just for this camera. Considering you can already look up things on your phone, delete things, edit things. It's really cool. And then also, I think on the uh, GoPro app, it also has a little thing where you can, like post your videos or something. I thought the most useful thing with this would be for skiing instead of using my phone and trying to hold it and not drop it because that would really suck. Have this attached to the helmet and that's it, which I thought would be really helpful. It does have all your access to your buttons, but the thing is you can't really use the touch screen through here. I don't think you can. Maybe you can't actually use the touch screen. I'm not sure. I th it feels like the plat. Oh, yeah. If you actually feel the plastic on this, it actually bends. It's like that little plastic that you used to have on DS's on the bottom screen. But it also did give me, when I bought this, it came with two extra, well, that's a little weird. Two extra things. I'm assuming you could use this case for like the three, two, and the, uh, maybe the five. I don't know if they upgraded size. I know they eventually moved to different sizes. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to worry about being in the center of the frame. You could see me literally everywhere on this. So I know it's going to be a really weird video to watch because everything's going to be super stretched out and it's going to be look terrible. But I did, I, uh, I am going to say I'll definitely make another video later after I record some things out of town or something like that. Useful the battery life. I'm going to check after that and then I'll let you know because it is, was at 100 when I started. And I'll see if it's how bad it's decreasing. And I'll post what it is at in the description right now. I don't think I could check it now because it's recording. But I'll definitely put that in the bottom. And if I do forget, leave a comment and tell me hey, what was the battery life after? I was like, oh yeah, which hopefully I don't forget. But I will do, um, give me suggestions on videos I can do hopefully around town or maybe go out of town for or what you need me to do. Because it is a small camera, very portable. I do appreciate that. GoPro, I was always thinking it was going to be an over-exaggerated camera. Uh, well, the brand was going to be over-exaggerated because they have like seven models. Like It's going to be like an iPhone thing where it's too big of a thing. It's not great what it is. Not, well, of course, it's going to be good quality. for better be for what the prices these things are. But you can buy... There's one... I was looking at another camera. They have one for 50 bucks that looks just like this. But it's a little bulkier and a little weirder. Hopefully, this pro proves to be a lot better than that for the price for nearly double. But I think because this has the app and it makes it so much better. Because when it's on your head, you have the helmet. 
just use the app and you could literally access all your settings. You can change absolutely everything you can do in the camera. There's not one thing you can't do in the camera you can't do with the app. You can do way more with the app than the camera. Actually, because you can turn on the camera and turn off the camera because you can leave the Wi-Fi on the camera. I'm sure that'll decrease the battery, uh, which I'd probably turn it off if you're gonna store it. But if you're gonna use it like every day, or something if that's your thing just leave the Wi-Fi on you can turn it on and off then you can just leave it setting up on like a corner and then like if you leave your room it has Wi-Fi I'm not sure how good the range is you can turn it on which is really helpful uh, but other than that there's nothing else too major with it uh, I mean I don't know what else you expect it to be it's just a camera for what for a camera gosh it is really uh, for being before it's pretty ahead of its time for what it was I don't know how long ago it was but I'm sure a simple Google search can do but it is pretty helpful uh, I see nothing but five star reviews on these things and I definitely want to give it a five star already And I do appreciate guys watching this video. Hopefully this is gonna be the start of really good quality content and Using everything to my advantage and hopefully we can have some fun now. Give me suggestions and I'm wait willing and waiting I'm gonna see you guys later